Hey guys, uh, today we're going over some warms that you can do for squats. Whenever you're warming up for a big compound lift, you're going to want to do mobility exercises as opposed to stretching. The reason being, mobility exercises tend to be closer to dynamic stretching, which does work, but the mobility has an added benefit in that it makes you more mobile. Um, the reason why you wouldn't do static stretching is simply because static stretching serves, serves a similar purpose to what weightlifting does in that it can break down the muscle fibers not in the same way that weightlifting does, but it will pre-exhaust you to the point where you won't actually want to do a weightlifting session or perform the way that you could be performing. Anyway, moving on to warming up. One warm that you can be using is called an airplane. So, what you're going to do, find something to grab onto you, plant one leg into the ground, stick the other one up straight behind you, arms straight to the side, and all you're going to do is rotate upwards, try to keep yourself in a straight line, and move back down just like that. You should feel a pull along your adductor, along the inside of your leg, inside of your leg, and then also somewhere in your hip. You can then couple that with a dorsiflexion stretch. All you need is a slightly raised edge. Tennis ball will work as well. It's probably the best way to do it. I don't have one with me today. What you're gonna do is put the ball of your foot on there, plant your heel into the floor, make sure it doesn't leave the floor, deep lunge position, but you can let that back leg rest on the floor, all you want to do is try to push your knee as far or as close to your toes or over as possible while keeping that heel on the floor. You should feel a big stretch on the back of your ankle there, maybe even up into the calf. You hold that for about three seconds, back off, push back into that again, hold that again for three seconds, back off. Repeat that five times per leg. Now the next exercise you're going to want to move into is going to combine that hip mobility with that ankle mobility warm-up do, grab yourself a light plate. You can do this body weight, but the plate helps to offset your body weight so that you can get a little deeper into position and hold your body in the right form. So, grab this plate, hold it about that far from your chest, take a nice wide position, drop into a squat. What you want to do is rest your elbows on your knees, put your entire body weight over onto one leg, again, keeping all your toes and both heels on the floor the whole time. Push as far as you can for three seconds, then drive over to the other side, nice and slow, same thing, and repeat that again. I would recommend about five times per leg. Now the next thing you do, again, keep holding onto your plate, you're gonna drop into a squat position, put your elbows on the inside of your knees, and drive your knees out again for three seconds, repeating five times. That way we can really open up the hip. Now the trick with this is to try and stay as upright as possible, even though your elbows are on the inside of your legs. So, you drop in, upright, drive, three, two, one, relax, then drive, three, two, one, repeat that five times. Nice and simple. And there you go, that's a nice little mobility move, uh, warm up for you to do before you squat. Again, when it comes to the squatting as well, you do want to keep track of your shoulders, but go check out our shoulder mobility video and see what we're doing over there. Cool.